Hello, this is Hawker the Bean, and today we are going to be reading Backrooms Level 245, also known as They Can't Hear You. This level does have a little warning. It says it describes intense feelings of dread and despair, so if you would rather not, well, they say read, but I'm going to say listen to these topics, please enjoy a different video. Possibly a different one that I made. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival difficulty class 2. Unsafe, unsecure, possible cognito hazards. Ooh, I haven't heard the word cognito hazard off of it on a site that isn't the SCP wiki in a while. Description. Level 245 consists of a small elementary school boys restroom containing the center two urinals, two sinks, and three stalls. The level limits wanderers' movements by restricting an accessible area to a singular stall where wanderers will stay the duration of their time on level 40, 245. Most of this area is drenched in water, supposedly from the smoke. Oak activated sprinklers above. The saw will occasionally have messages and notes left from other waters carved into or written on the walls. But where are we with time? Apparently, this is a photo of the saw taken just as the photographer escaped. Upon entering the level, the wanderers will, begin, will immediately begin to notice the uncanny screaming and whining coming from outside of the restroom door. Wanderers have described in extreme detail the blood-curling wells of children and adults alike, as well as the piercing sounds of various different emergency alarms. One wanderer said, even both by the door, the people from people who, who probably didn't and, and never will exist. I had never heard more distinct cries of pure terror. Other reported sounds coming from outside of the restroom are those of ambulances, the crackling of fire, explosions, and the, follow and the falling of crumbling debris and faint crying, typically near the end of one's stay in the level. Is it a crying of someone else, or is it your own crying? The second thing Ingwaters have reported to immediately happen upon arrival on level 245 is extreme sense of dread and paranoia. Even the bravest of wanderers is explained that they too became frightened, no matter how hard they, they tried to focus themselves. Described to be one of the most strangely terrifying levels in the back rooms, it is not recommended to seek out this level. During one stay on level 245, waters will begin to notice after a couple of days the lack of need for food or water. Many wanderers have survived weeks inside of the level, yet none have ever died due to the lack of these usually necessary items. When inside of the stall, humans, human figures may run on inside of the restroom, doors swing open to intensify the chaos of the background noise women and men being the most common. These figures will begin to call out for their children and family members, saying phrases as such as, Honey, please, where are you? Billy, are you there? Mommy is here, where are you? I'm worried about you. Other figures, such as children looking for their parents, also, and also members of a rescue team may also enter, although oh, rarer. Due to the intense fear and dread settled into the wanderers, wanderers will likely begin to scream out to these figures, begging for help and banging on the stall door. But never once has the figure taken a notice. Wanderers have also heard the voices of loved ones using their names, furthermore increasing the stress and yearning to get out. After a few seconds to a few minutes, the figures will retreat, once again leaving the wanderers alone in the restroom. After whatever amount of time it takes for wanderers to slowly begin to calm themselves, the violent noises will noticeably begin to quiet. 
and the pull of paranoia will slowly diminish. While figures still enter the restroom and enhance the terrifying screams and cries coming from outside, wanderers must supposedly learn to master their fear and block out distractions. When a wanderer, still surrounded by screams of pain and cries of fear, is able to control their emotions, the stall's door is set to unlock, allowing wanderers to leave and be transported from the level. Entities, Jeb. Jeb is the only known entity to reside on level 245. Jeb is a tall, ghostly human with short gray brown hair, silver eyes, gray stubble on his chin, and above his lips is, is missing his left arm. He is always seen wearing a, a janitorial outfit and usually drags a yellow mop bucket behind him. He can be rarely seen appearing in the stall with wanderers, usually manifesting at the same time a figure walks into the restroom. He is said to have a low, calming, whispery voice. His first words to the wanderer nearly always being, They can't hear you. Despite his unsettling appearance, Jeb is completely harmless when unprovoked and will even console weeping wanderers whispering kind messages, but most often in times telling stories from his life. While he usually carries a sweet expression, Wanderers report his smile turning more melancholy when they, they exit, prompting many Wanderers to stay for a few minutes even after they are granted release. These Wanderers are more likely to encounter Jeb outside of this level as he seems to be able to openly explore the back rooms. Bases, Outposts, and Communities the Riders. The Riders is a name that has been given to a group of people known to leave encouraging messages and stories posted throughout the small bathroom stall, likely to help wanderers relax and escape faster. While it is likely that the authors of these notes themselves have never actually met, there is still a growing collection of sticky notes and carvings detailing bright summer days and happy moments. Wanderers will never actually meet anyone on the level besides Jeb, leaving these notes to be the only true communication possible. It is highly recommended to read these notes and add one if possible, because relaxing is the only way to escape from the, this level. Entrances and Exits Entrances While no definitive entrance has been located, Many waters will report being transported to this level after going through traumatic experiences, such as the loss of a loved one. Wow, imagine. Imagine you go through a traumatic experience, and then you end up here to be a, 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 a put into a state of freaking... <laughs> panic and paranoia. Until you manage to figure out how to oh, calm yourself. The back room is just cruel. Alright, let's continue. Exits. The only known exit to this level is accessed by totally relaxing and clearing oneself of a fear, stress, and anxiety. After exiting this level, waterers have said that they have led a much happier and less anxious life afterward. By becoming calm, wanderers will be transported outside the doorway of a destroyed building on level 11. Sheesh. That was level 245. I did not expect it to go this dark, honestly. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And honestly, if you got this far, do something nice for someone else today. Anyway, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!